Welcome to the project demonstration of bug boost converter by using Arduino Uno board. So here we are going to boost up the uh, like voltage input from this uh, transformer and uh, regulator power supply board. And in this like we are going to boost up the power not only the voltage. So when you increasing the voltage irrespective of current so then we can increase up to the three times or four times of the voltage and when coming to the current power maintenance so then the system has to maintain the power also now the our system can control up to maximum of 15 watts of power when we are using in booster mode buck mode is going to be the same power but less voltage so when we are providing the input voltage the input voltage is like from 230 volts input to the transformer transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac so that was input to this regulated power supply board it consists of initial stages four diodes are connected in manner of bridge rectifier so second stage is smoothing capacitor third stage is regulator 7805 so after the first stage we will get 12 volts pulsating dc and after this second stage we will get the 12 volts pure dc and after this third, uh, third stage we will get the 5 volts constant dc so which is the operating voltage for our unibode and lcd module and next second stage output is 12 volts this is the second stage output 12 volts given as input to our boost converter so this bug boost converter will do the bug operation till 5 volts boost is up to 30 volts and this is providing when it's providing 30 volts the current is going to be the only 500 milliamps maximum so why because if you want to control the 500 milliamps load of 30 volts so we can connect that here then it will operates as we are providing the 30 uh, 500 milliamps current load only with 30 volts and when we are connecting the 12 to 15 volts load which is 1 amp so then the voltage will comes down to the 12 to 15 volts with 1 amp current so that is in the boost operation so coming to the boost operation circuitry like uh, explanation so this transformer is acting as an inductor in our project so transformer is con consist of a copper coils so inductor is also consist of the copper coils so this transformer can handle the more currents for that purpose we are using this as an inductor in our case and these two capacitors are connected in series so that we will get the maximum voltage so one capacitor can handle up to 25 volts so these two are in connected in series so we will increase the voltage storage up to 50 volts and this one is the irf z double four mosfet which is used to switching purpose in our project and this one is the in4007 uh, diode which will oppose the current flow after the capacitor and inductor are charged so the purpose of this whole circuit is like we are going to provide the input signals to this mosfet based on the measuring the output voltage from this one is a closed loop one so means the system will check the first of all which mode you have selected and if you go to the booster mode then it will check the output voltage and based on that output voltage from this booster circuit or Arduino you know, will provide the on time increasing till you get the maximum voltage from this boosting circuits. So when you are decreasing the on time then the less duty cycle will be given to the system of this MOSFETs and then the voltage will be decreased to the 12 to 5 volts and when it is increasing the duty cycle then the system will get the more power. This duty cycle increment decrementing is fed from the unit board in PID module like proportional uh, proportional integration derivation model so we are going to controlling in smoother way to increasing and decreasing the voltages so when we are for example when we are increasing the old duty cycle then the mosfet on time increases and then we are providing the more time to charge this inductor and capacitors so when we off this mosfet less time so then it will provide the output voltage given to the this capacitor means the capacitor will charge up to maximum voltage so which will provide us the maximum up to 30 volts in the booster mode so interfacing connection sir these two are the voltage sensors input and output sensors so which is of potential divider circuit and the ratio between is 10 is to 1 so when you are getting 10 volts to the circuits so Arduino will get 1 volt so in our programming we are uh, writing as a multiplication of 10 times because we are reading the voltage across the 1 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm are connected in series it's R1 and R2 potential divided circuit manner we are going to measuring the voltage across the R1 so that's R2 uh, 1 kilo ohm so that's why we, are getting, we need to multiply that input voltage so that's we will get the 10 times voltage for example 10 1 volt will be read 
by the inner board and we are going to multiply that to 10 so 10 volts will be displayed on the LCD screen these two voltage sensors interface at A0 A1 and LCD modulate pin number 2 to pin number 7 and these two switches are interfaced at the pin number 11 and 11 and 12 and uh, next the pulse signal from the uno board is 9th pin as it is a PWM pin remaining pins sir we can connect anywhere we want except voltage sensors should be connected at A0 A1 as analog pins and MOSFET pin should be connected to the PWM pin as 9th pin is the PWM signal pin so let us see the demonstration so before switching on this kit we should uh, disconnect the load so let us check the input and output voltages so initially there is no uh, like pulse input like whether it is a boost or bug mode so coming to the bug mode so the bug mode voltage directly at the 5 volts near to the 5 volts and coming to the booster mode so slightly it is increasing using the PID concept so you can check the voltage right and when we connect the load in order to maintain the same constant power so you can see that the 24 volts are like connected that so as the load connected input voltage also decreases because of this current consuming and then the output voltage also increasing so if you stay there it will increase maximum to 14 volts as you are using the 1 amp load so then it is maintaining the constant power